I'm working on developing a non-opioid pain medication and it's based on a series of studies I've been doing for almost 20 years now. The target that we're uh, looking at to make a drug against is an enzyme called protein kinase C epsilon. Years ago, my lab had made a knockout mouse and that mouse had some very interesting behaviors that are beneficial. Very low anxiety. Um, they don't like to drink much alcohol or nicotine you know, containing solutions. And they had a deficit in pain sensitization. So. They have normal pain thresholds, but if you try and sensitize the animal by causing an inflammatory lesion or, or nerve injury, they don't develop hyperalgesia. They don't you know, have a heightened pain response. Um, and so that's very useful because when people get chronic pain, there's, a, there's an abnormal pain signaling and they develop hyperalgesia. And so that, that's an interesting uh, phenomenon that could be very useful for chronic pain. So we're trying to develop this as a drug for chronic pain by inhibiting this enzyme. And unlike opioids, it wouldn't be that useful for acute pain, but it would be useful for, for chronic pain, which opioids are not very useful for. In fact, in a substantial number of people, chronic use of opioids actually enhances pain sensation, has a paradoxical effect. Being an academic, you, you're not used to what's needed to actually make a compound become a drug. The Harrington Discovery Institute provides more than just money. They provide advice from advisors who have lived their careers in the uh, pharmaceutical industry, developing drugs, biologics, you name it. And for an academic, to have the window into that world is invaluable.